Dan, I know you have Allison Williams on your show uh, weekly. Help me with this story. I know Mel Kuyper is not allowed to be in Vegas for the NFL draft, so he will join the remotely because he's not vaccinated. But Allison Williams was fired from ESPN for not being vaccinated, or was she given an ultimatum and left? Explain how that worked. I know you talked to Allison about this on your show. Yeah. Yeah, the ultimatum is basically being fired. I mean, they knew she wasn't going to do it. And the difference is this. You get to a level here, and the people that you work with on a daily basis at ESPN are great, whether it's basketball, football. Man, they're friends of mine still. But when it gets beyond that, when it gets into corporate guidelines, then it becomes very cold. I don't get, and this is why I brought it up to Allison today on Don't At Me, I don't get how Mel Kuyper is able to do this remotely. Now, I understand the NFL rules the roost, and Allison is a college host. She's a college sideline reporter. She's a college football reporter. She can do much of what she can do, as she explained to me, remotely. No different than what Mel Kuyper can. Now, obviously, you got to be at a game to be a sideline reporter. They didn't even broach it with her, man. They just said, hey, look, you don't do this, you're out. She's a very uber, uber smart woman. She's one of those people that when you talk to, you feel smarter because she's your friend and she's always been that way. We worked for years together with Tariko on the Big Ten package for ESPN. She's always been that way. But it's kind of confusing to me, except for the fact that we all understand NFL rules the roost. And let's be honest, if you're going to have an NFL draft and you don't have Mel Kuyper and your ESPN, then what the hell are you doing? So that's basically the bottom line. It seems um, it seems a bit unfair, really. But I guess you know, I guess life's unfair. But Mel, you no, know, Allison was never given a hey, look, we want you to do this. Uh, uh, we'll work with you. Uh-uh. Once it got to this level, there was no working with her like ESPN worked with Mel Kiper. 